Advance to the topic of interest via the menu in the description below. Center of gravity. Location on the rocket where its weight balances. Center of pressure, where aerodynamic forces balance. CG should always be ahead of CP or the rocket will be unstable. If CG and CP occur at the same point, the rocket will flip on this axis. Distance between CG and CP should be one to three body diameters. Sweet spot is two body diameters apart, which is why a two liter bottle is not very stable. Two liter bottle is too wide and too short, requiring additional length. Open Rocket software calculates CG and CP fairly accurately. Improves stability during liftoff with extended rocket length. Yields straight flights without flipping since CG is further ahead of CP. Simplifies attachment of Stratocone recovery system. Quickly transfer Stratocone system to another rocket. Fill two liter bottle with hot water. Sit for one minute then remove label. Peel or cut cap ring from the bottle. Cap the bottle, giving it structure by trapping air inside. Remove glue residue with lacquer thinner and paper towel. Draw a line around the bottle using the horizontal base as a guide. Puncture the bottle below the line with a knife or box cutter. Rough cut the lower portion of the bottle away. Cut precisely along the drawn line. Remaining sleeve height of four and three quarters inch is optimum. Unscrew the cap from the sleeve. Screw stratocoupler onto a one liter payload bottle. Screw the payload bottle onto the sleeve. Slide sleeve onto the same size soda bottle up to the seam or beyond. Tape is not required and may loosen or tear when pressurizing. Optional, cut a door into the payload bottle. Water Rocket Kit includes nose cone, chute, cord lock, washer, bracket, bumper, four and six inch zip ties, fins, nozzle, tether line, and bead. Lay out parachute and gather shroud lines without tangles. Carefully place each shroud line in order over the four inch zip tie. Loop the zip tie and pull through the black cord lock about 12 inches or less. Pull through the white sleeve washer with sleeve facing away from cord lock. Pull through the bracket and bumper. Carefully replace the four inch zip tie with a six inch reusable one. Loop the six inch zip tie around the neck of the bottle and tighten 95%. Evenly space shroud lines around the neck at four points. Tighten the zip tie fully. Arrange shroud lines in pairs along bottle, looping over bottom groove. Pinch slide cord lock to tighten and hold everything in place and centered. Loop a single line over the remaining bottle groove for even spacing. Fold chute and place inside stratocone. Tape stratocone onto the bracket. Find the CG of the rocket by balancing on a loop string. Perform swing test to confirm rocket configuration stability. If rocket flies smoothly, then it is stable. 
If not, adjust CG with weight and repeat swing test. Place modeling clay inside plastic bag since it is oily and tape inside nose cone. Adding water complicates CG because it exits fast. Perform swing test with water weight component for accuracy. Notice rocket flies backwards since CG moved to the rear. Counterbalancing water weight in the nose cone makes the rocket too heavy. Best way to compensate for water weight is employing a rail system. Use less water, less than 200 milliliters. Extend the length of the rocket. Increase the size or location of the fins. Add weight, modeling clay or electronics to the rocket or nose cone. Fill the bottle with less than 200 milliliters of water and mount the rocket onto the launcher. Tightly fold the chute in small folds and wrap the shroud lines around it. Place the chute on top of the rocket. Place the stratocone over the chute. If using a tether line, make sure it is hanging freely. Optional, launch with or without adding a payload. Level and center bracket or premature deployment may occur before apogee. Pressurize the rocket to the desired PSI and release. The stratocone should fall off at apogee, deploying the chute. The entire rocket should descend safely under chute. Notice landing speed with chute recovery. Nose diving is not an option. Carefully remove sleeve and transfer entire assembly to another rocket. Rocket stability, the key to straight flights.